Kendall, uh, thank you so much for coming back to our yeah, show. Yeah, thanks for having me. You look me. gorgeous. Oh, my God. This is God. so nice to be uh, here. Yeah, it feels good with the an audience, right? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, yeah, it does. Uh, I, I want to get into some cool stuff here, but I yeah. want to say first, uh, your sister Kylie is expecting her second she child. Is. She uh, is. She is. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. <laughs> how, did you uh, how, did you hear the, how did you hear the news? She called me, um, and I answered the phone, and she just had her little sonogram, like a picture of her sonogram. And I was like, oh my God, I wasn't really shocked because I like felt like it could happen someday soon, oh. but I was excited. I was very excited and um, it's just a blessing. It's are amazing. You, are you a good babysitter? Um, I'm, I'm all right. I always want to be like the cool aunt and like liked, I guess, by yes. all of them. So yeah, me too. there is 18 of them now going on 20. There's two on the way. Is that correct? So yeah, my brother, Bert, has one on the way. And then wow. my sister, obviously, just oh announced gosh. hers. So You're pretty used to it. I have a lot of them, but um, it, it's fun. It's really fun. I, I try and be chill. Yeah. I Does your boyfriend enough, help already. out at all? Um, he loves them. Him and Stormy have an amazing relationship. She has the biggest crush on him, and I'm like jealous sometimes. I'm like, stop. Yeah, you're like, hey, come on, yeah. I'm like, can you guys I'm the not? cool one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, David Booker is uh, on the Phoenix Suns. He's amazing. Just won a gold medal. He did, yeah. It's awesome. Um, I know that we talked about it. You're very sporty when you were up. You played basketball. Yes. I did in element or er, yeah, middle school. I played yeah. basketball. Do you guys ever I have was a little one-on-one -on -one competition? We do sometimes. He, um, we actually were just playing in the, we, we have like a, our friends had like a pool set up, you know, the hoops that are in the pool. Oh, there you go. And so we were playing in the pool and he just like took it way too seriously, as did I, by the way. And um, I was like kind of. Dunking on you and stuff? He, I had the ball and he was guarding me and it was a whole thing. He actually ended up cutting my hand open a little with his <laughs> nail. Because um, he took it a little too seriously. It's pretty much healed now, so you can't really see it. But it was a big gash, and it bothered me for, like, uh, two weeks. But... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, plus you probably had pool hands, too, for being in there. Yeah. You know. Uh, I saw you last night at the Met Gala. Yeah. Uh, and you look stunning. Thank you. Look, look at this. Thank you. I mean, holy moly. Thank you. Uh, how long does it take you to get ready for these events? Um, that took probably like two hours yeah which it was it was like calm like yeah. I wasn't usually I feel like I'm a little more nervous yeah most years and I was actually really just like calm I told myself before I'm like why stress yourself out with unnecessary nerves just yeah. like I felt chill. safe with the uh, all the COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they did it, a good I felt job like they did it. a really good job with everything. You were the first person I saw when I walked in <laughs> I know, with my it's, mom. It's almost like I, I greeted everyone yeah. on their way in. They're well, like, by the hey, way, get to the table, that's Mr. Fallon. <laughs> that's exactly what my mom does. She'll stand at the top of the every year. She stands at the top of the carpet, and security's like, "Come on, ma'am, you have to you have to kind of go inside now. You can't just stand here and wait around." <laughs> and she's like, "Absolutely not. I'm standing here. I'm watching all my daughters walk in, and she's just so cute. And she takes videos of us. You, the smile on her face." It's just everything. She's, she's the greatest. She's the best. Yeah, I love seeing her as well. Um, <laughs> uh, you're stepping into a different role in the fashion world. That you're the creative director of this yes. brand, Forward. Forward. Yeah. Uh, how do you? Uh, how do? How do you? When did you start that? And what's? What's that entail? What is so Forward? Forward is a luxury online retailer. So they, um, yeah, they sell a bunch of like luxury brands online and it's really cool I mean I think for a, a long time I was obviously in one space of the fashion industry and so it's cool to kind of take um, a role in a more creative way personally so um, it's it's cool like, it's cool like to be a in taste control. like a, like choosing the, yeah what, so what I get clothes? to choose like what what is featured on the website and um, I actually had my first day on the job the other day here in New York and I got to like go around to a couple designers and pick things for the website so it's actually really really fun I get to you know shop a little I mean, you so get to influence a lot of people there was a giant headline uh, because you, you you had you had the fashion world uh, going crazy because oh, no. yo yeah, oh, very controversial <laughs> you work you work Crocs oh my gosh <laughs> you work Crocs I uh, <laughs> Now, you're gonna, the audience is on your side here, but what? Yeah, right. uh, I've never worn Crocs. Questlove swears the best. by Crocs. <laughs> Questlove told he's like, dude, I live long enough, tried every sneaker shoe there is. Crocs is my job. Are you wearing any right now? Yes, I am. No yeah. Way. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm jealous. You're jealous, yeah? I'm like, I want to 
Are they that comfortable? I don't know. I don't they are. I actually, um, I saw those like just on some like Instagram inspiration, like fashion page. And I was like, wait, these are actually cute. So I went out of my way to buy those specific Crocs, but was not expecting to be photographed that day. Clearly, I kind of, I'm really, really comfortable, but yeah, that's they're great. Yeah, comfy outfit. Yeah. They're great. I am not ashamed whatsoever. So something like this could maybe end up on forward if you feel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. As forward's uh, creative director, I approve. Right? <laughs> I approve. Uh, I will tell you what I approve of. And uh, oh my that is. <laughs> Woo! Doggy! Yes. Let me tell you something. It's delicious. Thank you. Uh, what made you get into the spirits uh, business? So, actually, my parents were longtime lovers. I grew up hearing about it around the house all the time. And so, kind of as I got older and, you know, drank, um, I was always a tequila lover. It's always my go to drink. And me and my friends, it's all we drink. And, um, you know, I kind of was kind of the friend that was always trying to find new tequilas, tequilas that not everyone might know, and um, just loved always experimenting with it until, you know, I kind of got to a place where, although I found a lot of tequilas that I really, really loved, I didn't really see one for my generation, something that was like approachable and aesthetically pleasing and socially aware and gender neutral. And there's like so many things that I just didn't really see for my generation. And so when I kind of dove into it and um, did a little bit of research, I found that it was predominantly a male dominated space. And that kind of coming from a really strong female family, um, it just drove me even harder into the space and made me really excited to get into it. And um, then even diving even further into it, I found that you know, um, not a lot of uh, brands that I saw were as, you know, friendly to the planet as they could possibly be. So I took that upon myself to make that a really big part of our, us, us as a brand. So um, we've actually yeah. partnered with 1% for the planet to donate 1% of our revenue to planet saving initiatives. And then along with that, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um, Along with that, sorry, this is a mouthful. Oh my God. Yeah, go Along for it. with I like that, it. we um, we actually at our at our distillery, which I was just at the other day, we found a way to take the agave waste and the the agave fibers and the water waste and build this sustainable brick that we are actually donating back to the community of Jalisco. So it's it's along with saving the planet, it's yeah. important to us to be friendly to the community as well. I thought you were gonna say you're gonna turn them in the Crocs. No, no. Oh, <laughs> we're donating them and building um, homes for people that need homes and there's Actual a half built hospital. Yeah, but they're all sustainable. They're they're made from the waste that comes from making tequila. Congrats, buddy. We love you and your family and they, they've said some things over the years that have become iconic quotes okay <laughs> and so we wanted to put your knowledge to the test in a new game called who said it how it works how it works is I'm gonna read you real quotes that you uh, your sisters or your mom Chris have said okay. uh, and you have to tell me who said it okay there we go I feel like I'm not gonna be good at this first up here we go uh, who said would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. That is actually one of my favorite moments. So I know exactly who this is. It was my mom. Uh, <laughs> let's see who said it. Here we go. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. <laughs> who said, honey, would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? Uh, Kim. That was her her thing she would always say. Let's see who said it. Honey, would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. Good, you got two. Uh, this one might be my favorite one. Who said, quote, you're cute, Jeans? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Let's see who said it. Those are cute jeans. You're cute jeans. <laughs> Like what that was. <laughs> See, that was just saying yeah. you found that you love her. Yeah. yeah She's exactly. cute. Those are She's cute jeans. Exactly. Yeah, you're cute jeans. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's my favorite quote. Uh, who said, uh, but just knowing you're a badass bitch is just what is just all what life is about. Um, I really don't know this one. Mm. Oh no. Just knowing you're a badass bitch is just all what life is about. Chloe. I'll guess Chloe. Let's see who said it. But just knowing you're a badass bitch yeah. is just all what life is about. That's what I'm talking about. What's close? Of course it was. <laughs> no. Oh, no. This might be the, uh, my other favorite. Your cute jeans is my other, with my, but this one's great quote. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, I have to go. <laughs> it's Courtney, and it's so good. 
watch this. It happens. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I have to go. What the heck is A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Really what good. does that have to do? Dude, Scott's reaction is everything. Scott was like, what? ABC of By the way, you have to find like the extended clips of all these because they end up getting into like funny moments afterwards. It's but really did good. you forget H? Is that the way it works? Like A B C E F G H I have to go? Oh. Yeah, I feel like she did say it wrong, by the way, because I think it was like a meme I, or a quote. I don't know like, what it is, but internet, I love it. And she tried oh. to use it and kind of botched it, but it became a whole thing. It's like all over TikTok, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it's all over TikTok. Yeah, I love that one, though. That in your. Uh, oh. Who said, Rise and Shine? Oh, this one's. <laughs> Kylie, obviously. Yeah, here we this go. Let's take a look. Rise and Shine. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Kendall Jenner!